All right, well, one, gay, uh, one, one way as a community we can... The PlayStation Showcase played out like a slow death of my gaming enthusiasm, which in and of itself was on life support to begin with. No amount of hype, cocaine, and Red Bull could kickstart my heart into caring about the agonizing game show. Wow. Somehow, all the major companies made new game reveals worse than E3. But then again, it's 2020. Expecting anything good this year is like expecting an ex-girlfriend to quit making poor life decisions while also expecting you to save her from herself. Too real. Too raw. No one needs to know about my, my troubles. No one cares. Make me laugh, clown, they cry. They showed off the new Final Fantasy. Insert number here because I forgot. There was a time when Final Fantasy announcements would get my weeb dick hard. But these days, I don't know if it's the depression or the lack of compelling story that keeps my dick as limp as the pro Jared comeback saga. Strangely enough, this somehow triggered game journalists into complaining Final Fantasy needed more women. I mean, whammon. I guess they for I guess they forgot about Final Fantasy 13 and 13 2, Lightning Returns. You know, the one with the female protagonist. What about Final Fantasy 10 2X or is it 10X? Well, basically 10 with all the female characters. Uh, no, nobody remembers. Final Fantasy never has female characters. You bigots, you racist, you misogynists. Oh well, we got to get those outrage clicks. <laughs> Then they showed off the Spider-Man Miles Morales game, or as most comic book fans who were interested in comics before the whole new woke Marvel, we call them Bootleg Spider-Man. Basically, this is DLC Sony is now selling as a full-fledged release for $69.99, by the way. Remember when game companies used to have some sliver of morals? Pardon the pun. A DLC turned into a game spinoff used to be $49.99. Not anymore. Pony up, ponies. Shuhei Yoshida rolled in like Ray Liotta from Goodfellas. Fuck you pay me. And they were like, yes, Shuhei, take my money, daddy. <laughs> take my money, Asian daddy. Oh, Stu, edit that out. That joke could get us in trouble. The new super hyper... I can't, Stu. Just edit this out before I kill myself. Sorry if you like Spider-Man, but... That's a lot of quick time events. It's lame sauce. It would be nice if there was, like, an ability to fail in it to see the consequences or the results of your action or your inability to press X quick enough or L1 repeatedly, that would have been game design. That would have been storytelling and narrative. No, screw that. You missed a quick time event. Let's do it over again until you get it right, retard. Oh no, it's Harry Transphobia Potter the game. <laughs> Distressed Twitter warriors foamed the mouth because this game exists. Mother of God. I've never seen more adults cry and complain over nothing in my life. They acted as if every scene had some transphobic message embedded in the scales of every monster or the wood of every magic wand. Kotaku even wrote an article about it going after J.K. Rowling. Like the bitch made the game. Like, come on. It's just Harry Potter the game. Didn't she say Harry was gay or something? What more do people want? It's, let's move on. This is not a political channel. So edit that out, Stu. Hemorrhoids used to control my life, but thanks to Inosol, I've turned my hemorrhoids into hope. Now my asshole doesn't look a day over five. Ask your doctor if Inosol is right for you. Side effects may include dizziness, larger hemorrhoids, and obscene blood. Call of Duty World at War. The yearly Call of Duty. Yay! Sorry, Fluffy. I woke you with my enthusiasm. Oddly enough, me shouting and complaining doesn't wake up the dog. Me saying yay startles the animal <laughs> profusely. <laughs> I guess I can't wait to watch Darkseid Phil buy it, get wrecked in the game, and then complain he paid for it while failing to even attempt to get better at said game as his pay pigs shower him in money. What the f- Again with this. Again with this shotgun nonsense. He landed on my fucking head. Will be the next Resident Evil. Capcom for five minutes captured the interest of people in the franchise by remaking classic Resident Evil games, reliving its past glory, much like DSP telling you about Evo 1994 or whatever. But the reality set in after the Resident Evil 3 remake. They ran out of past accomplishments to live off of. And so here we are, Tim Burton's Resident Evil 8. 
I'm not showing footage from the game because Capcom is a greedy cunt and they think that they can claim my entire video for a three second blurb. Eat me, Capcom. Bethesda showed off its next game that you don't give a dead rat's ass about. Bioshock Dishonored We Happy View Edition. God, someone pass me a pill of joy, please. Lord knows I need it. Capcom releases DMCA 5 again, but this time you can play as Virgil. Whoopee. Eat me, Capcom. Eat me. Odd World, Apes Odyssey, or whatever they're going to call this Odd World, the game that came 20 years too late. And it's all made possible on the PS5, by the way, because it's so amazing and powerful, even though the game in and of itself looks like it's made on the PlayStation 3. Go figure. Am I right? Um, yeah. A little late. It's like, it's like a girl you had a crush on in high school. She had no interest in you because you weren't a bad boy. Now, all of a sudden, she's blowing up your Facebook after she's had a few kids and made a, and made a few bad life choices. And now she's sitting there like, don't you remember me? I'm like, yes, I do. That's why I'm not replying to you. Go the f*** away. Block, 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 block. Ah, another Five Nights at Freddy game. Great. Now, Microplier has something to do. Scream into the microphone and pretend that these jump scares are actually scary. You want a jump scare? Attach a YouTube complaint email at the end of this. Oh God, Susan, no. Demon Souls, the game Sony knows people actually want. So they're locking it behind the PlayStation 5. The trailer clearly shows also coming to PC. Sony walked that back so fast it wasn't funny. They know this is gonna be a console seller and Lord knows you can't get one. Now you gotta wait an extra year if you're into the PC and you really want this game. And Lord knows Sony might just drag their feet on letting it out because it's Sony. Sony only has PlayStation and Sony cameras. Everything else they do loses a money. Oh, look out, backwards compatibility. Or do you have to buy the games digitally on the PlayStation 5 store to play them? I don't know. Whoopee, hooray. Thank God there's, look at me, I'm, I'm dancing right now. Thank God the avatar can dance because if you could see the lethargic look in my face. Finally, the PlayStation showcase was over after about 20 or 30 minutes of gut-wrenching boredom. Unless, like, you're one of those people that sip the corporate Kool-Aid, then you're probably in your seat falling all over yourself and masturbating profusely into the sky, hoping to catch your own jizz in your face. Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next product. The show goes over. We're all sitting there waiting for Sony to tell us when the pre-orders are going to go live and where and what time. Sony tells us nothing. And basically, if you didn't follow Jeff Keighley, one of the biggest Sony ponies to ever exist in the media, then you can get Because if you didn't follow Jeff Keighley on Twitter, you didn't know when or where the fucking pre-orders were happening. Literally, Amazon even had the pre-order link leak, and only certain people were able to get it to pre-order it. And somehow, in this dark dystopian night where we call 2020, DSP was one of the people that got the secret Amazon link. Can you believe this? I can understand them shooting one to like PewDiePie or Markiplier. I get that. But Dark Side Bill. Jesus. I mean, it was handled absolutely trash like. It was poorly done. PlayStation handled the pre orders as poorly as YouTube handles speaking directly of content creators that aren't mega rich or famous. Holy f I've never seen such a disorganization among companies in my life in this sheer and blatant fuckery. But Gundam, I hear you cry. God of War Ragnarok. Ragnarok, Mike. I don't care. God of War 5 played like an interactive movie, much like GTA 5. Which, by the way, you can buy again. Holy Jesus. Oh, and Red Dead Redemption 2, or whatever the hell it was called that also played like an interactive movie. Walking Simulator. I mean, if you like it, good for you, but for me, I'm sitting there like, this is killing me. I was falling asleep in my chair like Dark Side Phil was zonking out during <laughs> Yakuza Zero playthrough. <laughs> Yank me out of here, Stewie, baby. Let's get high, dude. Screw this. You know, 
take some psychedelics. Maybe we'll find God or something in the trees. I don't know. 